What's going on? You can tell I'm excited to get in the ring tonight for the Monkey Man premiere. I'm going to talk to the writer, the director, the producer, the main man himself, Dev Patel. This is my half Desi, half East Asian Kung Fu outfit. You see, I'm on brand, innit? I'm on brand. I'm always on brand, bro. I'm always on brand. I'm saying I'm ready for a fight, bro. What? 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 We saying? We saying? We saying? Camera? Huh? Huh? You can't say that to me. It's your day, bro. It's your day, man. Come on, it's your day. Ooh, bro, it's your day. Come on, man. Love it to meet you, bro. Amazing film. That is an amazing. amazing suit. Thank you, man. This, man. Thank so you. It's going, it's going like the Kung Fu session, yeah, 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 I like it. Do you like know what I mean? Like bro, like honestly, the film, cinematography, sound design, martial arts, everything. Amazing. 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Did you know Ooh. that? Did you know no, that? No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad. That's all right. <laughs> honestly, as an actor, yeah. as a filmmaker, as a martial artist, I appreciate this film wow. so much. Wow. Trust me. Wow. And seeing someone of your, like yourself, same color skin, bro, it's an inspiration. Wow. Um, I saw a lot of inspo. I saw a lot of inspo from John Wick. Yeah. Extraction. Ong back. Mm. Bit of Kill Bill in there. Yeah. And your physique was giving me Bruce Lee. <laughs> so yeah, if yeah. your character, if Monkey Man could team up with any of any of those characters or any characters like that, who would it be? I mean Bruce Lee all day long. Yeah. I mean I, I would just have to sit back and you know sip a pina colada because that guy is the most kick-ass of kick-ass that, that can you know he's yeah he's the greatest. He's the reason I got into cinema. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. seeking Being downstairs, watch, watching Enter the Dragon through the yeah, banister, yeah, yeah. seeing a man that had this similar skin tone right? to me with so much charisma. That was the gateway drug. I mean, and, he, and he didn't have to be muscular and built like he was skinny and like ripped and he was, he was like inspiration. Pure charisma. Yeah. 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 I bought some rubber nunchucks. I broke every cabinet. <laughs> house it was insane yeah oh man um it's so obviously this is the first time you're directing um it's a massive massive film man is there a scene in the film where like something happened on set and you were like oh man no one's gonna know this happened and you know no one's gonna see this fine detail is there something that pops the memory so much i mean this we had to be so scrappy and resourceful making this film so like everything from you know you know using my mobile phone for some shots because we you know really? we, the camera equipment broke and the sun's coming up there's a huge rickshaw sequence crash where i had to just tape my mobile uh, on the thing if you know that's not gorilla i don't know why yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to, to, to you know not having enough time to do a scene so we yeah. shot it point of view and then you know get punched out of the point yeah, of view yeah. you know shooting in a bathtub like you know because we couldn't get a a, a swimming tank at that at that point it was just everything there was it was so scrappy and resourceful yeah. and it, through every obstacle we found new opportunities to kind of be innovative man you know what just from watching this film you cannot tell that was the case wow. and you answered that question really well so bro i'm a filmmaker who uh, struggles with budgets with funding with um you know all sorts of hurdles like every other filmmaker does is there a bit of advice you can give because monkey man had its own journey to get to where it is now what yeah. advice would you give to someone like myself and other filmmakers out there who are struggling Wow, that's a beautiful question. For me, it's like, you know, I just wanted to make the film that 14-year-old Dev would, was so desperate to see, and I held that ferociously, and I, I wouldn't take no for an answer, really. You know, there, there were so many people that laughed me out of the room, so many studios that turned it down because there wasn't any comps, or that no one had seen us like this before. They didn't understand the cultural aspects or the political aspects or whatever. You know, we, we face catastrophe on this film on a daily basis, you know. I literally, you know, was in the middle of a pandemic making this, had to leave in India and lost all of my heads of departments you know so everything that could have gone wrong went wrong but you know you are the father and the mother of your own film and you have to be precise you have to be passionate and um, and that's what I and you lead by example you know I had a broken hand and I didn't stop I, I did everything I could to keep this this dream alive Bro, honestly, you are literally an inspiration for someone like myself. There's so many younger people out there, because I didn't grow up with a monkey man. Yeah. You know, I grew up with trying to find someone that looks like somewhat similar than me so I could look up to. But you are literally the next generation's, let's say, superhero. <laughs> so honestly, congratulations on the film. Um, I can't wait for the world to see it, man. I can't wait for the world to see it. Thank you for that. Uh, I will be quick. Um, thank you for that uh, generosity and warmth. Um, something I know British audiences are not necessarily want to be known for, but I appreciate it. And uh, I'm here to really, um, uh, I'm, I'm here with a very distinct honor. First of all, uh, just happy to be here on behalf of Monkey Paw Productions, and uh, I want to thank Universal uh, for everything. 
Um, but really, this is about the, the person that we are uh, here uh, to, to, for whose film we are here to watch. Um, this is a dope film. Um, uh, it's, and it's more than a film, it's, it's a movie. It is a, and it actually is one of these movies that proves you can be both things. You can be a film, and you can be a movie, and um, this one is with a real capital M and a capital F. <laughs> Motherfucker. It's kind of fun. Uh, I love it, and, and, and yeah, like I say, uh, I want you guys to give it up uh, for the, the man who has put this together for us, and again, it's one of my favorites. Uh, please put your hands together for the, the, uh, the star, the director, the writer, the producer of Monkey Man, Dev. <laughs> He, uh, he saved us from oblivion. Um, uh, I, you know, I'm very grateful. There was many times when I thought I was going to say goodbye to this dream, and, and there was, you know, these guys swooped in. Universal, huge thank you for, for making this dream come true. This film is, um, you know, it's been my best friend for a long time. It's been my worst enemy. It's been that little fucking gremlin sitting on my shoulder, teasing me. Um, it's, it's been my greatest teacher. Um, I'm so, so grateful for every beating heart sitting on a seat right now. My grandfather, Dada. He's like the Indian guy, he's like the Indian guy who's the old man from up. With the, with the <laughs> and, um, he, he, you know, my dad had this chain around his neck with a little emblem on it of this monkey holding up a mountain with one hand. And I was always enraptured by it. I would ask my dad, what does that mean? He's like, wait till your grandfather comes back from Kenya and he'll tell you the story better than anyone. My grandfather has told me the most incredible stories in my little box room in Rainers Lane. And now that you haven't seen this yet, but you know, this is for you. Um, but thank you guys so much for, for coming. And, uh, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. If you don't, it's Jordan's fault. <laughs> uh, there's some people, John Colley, Paul, um, uh, David, Ilka, our editors, uh, Sharon, um, uh, Natalia, the first person to believe in us, Joe Thomas, the man that stood by me through thick and thin. Um, there's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm missing some people, but just fucking thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>